But you know, so many people will sit around and they'll talk about their script, they'll talk about their manifesto that they're writing, and they never, they never do it. I say, do it. You know, piss or get off the pot. Do it. Shoot it on your iPhone, man. You can edit stuff at home. Yeah. Just, just do it. You short films. And How are you? I'm doing dandy though. Thanks for having me. Third, like less than 10 seconds ago, we just found out that your wife is from Winnipeg, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you the, are too. And I am too. And we're from the same area. Shout yep. out to River Heights, Winnipeg. River Heights. What, what? My wife will be so happy and proud of me now. Boys of River Heights, yo. Yeah. <laughs> Very nice. Do you ever go back there or you've never been there? Uh, no, I've been back. I've been there uh, probably uh, three times. I was there just uh, last summer. I was there for a wedding. I, I love Winnipeg. Winnipeg's amazing. Yeah, it's a lot yeah. like Hamilton. I do a lot of theater in Hamilton. And I love Hamilton's it. very nice too. I love Hamilton's it there. Hamilton's great. Yeah. What wedding was it? Because I must, I was uninvited to three weddings last I year, there. so I must be one of the weddings I was okay, uninvited. Okay, I was there for my wife's cousin, and uh, uh, the cousin's name is Kevin Boulay. I don't know who that is. So okay, he married a lovely lady by the name of Heather. You know Heather. My cousin. From Winnipeg. No, no, no. But the thing is, I'm not even joking. I don't know. My cousin married a Heather. And I was the wedding I was uninvited to. It's a big shout to you guys. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but uh, I know that's uh, last name. I'm not gonna give her. I'm gonna give her the credit though. But yes, everyone's a Heather. Everyone knows a Heather. Everybody knows a Heather from Winnipeg. Yeah, Winnipeg though. All right. So to get a little bit back on track, tell us what inspires you to be, to come in this media film industry. Well, here tonight or in general? In general. In general. Oh, I I don't know. I think that when I was a little boy, I had a hard time concentrating in school so my parents um, you know they, they they somewhat encouraged me but I just kind of gravitated I remember I went to see a play when I was a little boy ADD as well yeah probably high five, high five. Cool. do you know if you look at the elbow and high five you never miss but the thing is I don't bake a lot of high fives so no, just look at the elbow I will um, never miss so I think that when I was a kid I, I just kind of gravitated to pretend and um, yeah, it just sort of morphed. I really got drawn into, the, to, into live theater. I love the theater. It's kind of like I'm not a religious person, but I really, I really gravitated to where that's my temple. It's my church. Right. Yeah. And then, and then you know, film and TV roles come up. We got some time because you want to talk about religion and politics, or no? Not no? particular. Okay. <laughs> no, no. So, uh, what, what do you got coming up that people can check out? Uh, right now, I have a film that was premiering here this week at TIFF. Uh, the movie Arrival. I'm in Arrival. And uh, this coming Thursday, I directed a film called Reservation, and it's premiering at the Toronto Independent Film Festival. I'm going to be doing a play. I just sold the rights to one of my films to the CBC. Congratulations. Um, Amazing. Involved uh, with, a, with two web series. Uh, I've got uh, the Hamilton Film Festival. Mm -hmm. I'm sponsoring it. You actually it. pointed towards Hamilton, actually. That's Over here, yeah. <laughs> right there, right. In Hamilton. I'm going to be financing uh, a web series. I, I'm sponsoring the Hamilton Film Festival. I'm sponsoring the Hamilton Film Market with my production company, Wilson Entertainment Productions. So I, I just think that, you know, when, when people are, are working in this industry, they have to be clever. They have to think outside the box. Because if you think that you're going to you know, stumble into Martin Scorsese, that's probably not going to happen. Right. So I think that people have to uh, be more creative and do their own thing. And, and I like to work. I like to work collaboratively. I like to work with lots of well, people. If you're doing do something different you, so you're doing something you love, it doesn't feel like work at all though. So it sounds like you're doing something you love. Well, it's a lot of work. Well, it definitely you is. Know, I, just I, own, I own two but companies. But it's worth, and yeah, it's worth all the work. work. Sure, yeah. sure. Absolutely. Yeah. So on that note then, you said you have to think outside the box. What are some outlets or some things um, that you go to a reference to that allow you to be very creative? And provide you with that inspiration oh, well, to inspiration. be different and unique. I think that being with clever people, clever-minded uh, people that uh, have an artistic side, but I find so many times in this industry, on a lower level, when people are working in Canada independently, like an independent film, people are very passionate about the art, and or they're very structured about the business, and you need to have the two worlds come together, and that's something that I think that our production company can do is bring the artistic side and the, the reality side of the business and fuse them together. 
Um, but to answer your question, um, I like to work. I'm an ambitious guy. I'm a restless right. guy. I like to go. I don't. You know, I'm not a party guy so much, or certainly not anymore. The so, Val, everyone. No, sorry. <laughs> Yeah, this is a pretty crazy yeah. party here. Um, so I, I, I like I like the I like the movement. I like the I like going. Absolutely. I mean, as a fellow actor, I maybe you can share the same experience. Like, there has to be the one you know TV show or movie that you saw, and you're like, I want to get in that kind of business. Was there? Do you remember what the one thing you saw? Oh hey, boy, I would have to say. Well, I definitely was drawn to the theater. I saw a play when I was a little boy, and I remember seeing the actors, and they were making people laugh. And all the people were laughing, and and, and I thought, well, they, they get to, they get to just jerk off and have fun, and you know, like that's that's they, that's the, the title of my book right there. Yeah, like they they get to to, 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 to carry on, and we all get to laugh about yeah. it, and and they get paid to do it. That's what I want to do. That's my call. So I kind of knew then, and um, you know, just different movies inspire you I and mean, we all grew up basically in the same generation I'm yeah. 30 years older than both of you but I think that you know, movies movies inspire our entire culture really oh, absolutely. And, and so you, you pull something from everything like I grew up on all the family all that golden girl stuff okay yeah, 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 yeah. So I, I mean I'm not that young this is not so worried about my age right now. It's, it's that's, all they have, that's all they have in Winnipeg. Yeah, that's all they have is just that one channel that plays the one show over and over again. You kind of yeah. get used to it though. Yeah. It yeah. So again, so people can check out your, you have a website that you want to Yeah, MatthewWilson.ca, two T's in Matthew and two L's in Wilson. And one A at the end of CA. So, yeah. And one A at the end of CA. Yeah, very nice. Well again, big huge thank you for coming on Thanks the show. Thanks for having me. Uh, Jack of all trades, check out Matt Wilson. Uh, again, I want to give a big thank you very much for coming thank on the show. Nice, I know you thank love you so much. parties. Thank you so much for meeting you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We look forward to watching your film. So, um, we'll ask you some more questions. We've got some time to kill, though. Um, so, again, uh, has there been anything that tips or anything that you kind of caught your interest this year? Yeah, I, I met a, a really interesting fellow over here that directed the movie uh, Just Not Married. I went to his premiere the other night. And it's a good movie, and they shot an entire feature in six days. So wow. I've been talking to him, That's very and, and um, I think there's a possibility that, that you know we may do something together. Very nice. It just happened while I was waiting to come on here. Literally. There you go. Right over there. So another important question for somebody that is so experienced and so established in the industry: What advice would you give to those people aspiring to either be actors, directors, producers, or anybody any, anybody in the film industry? Well, in general? first of all, don't. Um, you know, Everyone I, keeps I, saying I, that. Well, it's no, true. No. I, I think that people have to be ambitious and they have to be very patient and they need something to keep themselves busy, like a real job. But you know, so many people will sit around and they'll talk about their script, they'll talk about their manifesto that they're writing, and they never, they never do it. I say, do it. You know, piss or get off the pot. Do it. Shoot it on your iPhone, man. You can edit stuff at home. Yeah. Just, just do it. You short films, and sooner or later, you will find people with common interests that are really serious, and you will learn about filmmaking by making films. I didn't go to film school. I didn't go to theater school. I just work a lot. Yeah, well, that's good. I mean, that's, I know that's I kind of share the same mentality as you, though. I mean, as people, I hear people. Wait, well, yeah, I have this is coming out. Do this. Show it to me, or you know, I don't really care. Though. Yeah. Yeah, I find that too. I just uh, sold uh, the rights to a film to the CBC, and uh, it, it, it was just a, a collective of, of people working together. And you know, and I have a film premiering here uh, later this week. I'm and gonna the, point out that, and again, it's nice pun right there. You're, everywhere you point, you're actually pointing. Case over there, that's where yeah, TIFF and yeah. the CBC yeah. is. Hamilton over there. Very, that's the Hamilton over yeah. there. Yeah. Well, that's how I. Yeah. It's like my, <laughs> yeah there you yeah. go. It's, it's been pointing everywhere, though. So, yeah. But uh, again, once again, big thank you again, Matt Wilson. Thank you. Uh, what hand did you lick your finger? My hand. Okay, good.